Today I thought we'd spend some time shadowing nurses. A lot of you have commented that it would be really awesome to get to know what nursing schedules are like and how nursing is different back home compared to on the ship. So, let's go. hospital now. This is Gina. Hi. Tell everyone about yourself a little bit. Hello, hello. My name is Gina. I am a ward nurse here on the African Mercy. I am originally from Chicago in the United States, working as a pediatric travel nurse there, and this is my first time serving on the ship. Yes. So, as I was saying, due to kind of a popular demand for wanting to know what nursing is like on the African Mercy, Gina has agreed to let me kind of shadow her and follow her around and ask her questions about nursing. And just a reminder, we can't film in the actual wards for patient confidentiality reasons. Right, right, right. But we'll get an idea just by walking around the hospital, talking to the lovely Gina, and that means first starting with getting ready for the day. Let's head to the scrub room and we'll see you there. <laughs> So where are we now? We are now in the official scrub room. Okay. So here we have a plethora of options to choose from. Wow. Most are the navy blue. Yes. But then they also have these light blue ones. The rare light ones. Rare light Ooh. blue. And then these are funky scrubs. They huh. are a little in short supply today because everybody's wearing them. Mm -hmm. But you can sneak in earlier during the week and kind of hoard them if you're in your favorite <laughs> scrub shop. Um, I have yet to find my favorite yet, but I will probably do that in the future. Nice. Does anyone bring their own or do you need to wear these? You can bring your own pants, but they want you to wear the top that has Mercy Ships on it. Okay. And then you also can wear these shoes oh. too on the ward, which are nice because they're plastic so you can wipe them down if mm -hmm. you don't want to wear your own shoes. A lot of people wear their own gym shoes, but they do have this option here. Well, perfect. So here we go and you have a, a little changing a little area. Changing area. There are Hello. some lockers here. Most, these are mostly used by our day crew. Because mm -hmm. um, they change in here and get ready. They right. change and get ready in here. Okay. I live like 10 steps away from here, so I just go turn in my room. All right, so tell us where we are now. Okay, so this is <laughs> the entrance to our hospital. There's stairs back there for people who are walking down, but this right here goes to our operating theater, um, and they'll open these doors push the patient over here to this main hallway, and then this has all of the wards down here. So they can go to any ward all from this door. We have four wards, A, B, C, and D, that are behind us. And so can you tell us like what they stand for, what's happening in these four wards? Yes, I can. So we have one OR, and the OR will well, one OR section, and the OR sends patients to all these different wards. Each ward has different specialties. So I'm a pediatric nurse, but there is not a pediatric ward. I'm on ward B, and I take care of pediatric patients that go towards ward B. Right, right. So there's one ICU, and then otherwise, A ward does general surgeries, B ward does orthopedics and plastics, C ward is overflow, so we send all of our patients that are Recovering that super acute but not ready to go home yet. C ward, yes. and then D ward does maxiofacial, and is the ICU. Great. And we've done this with a lot of traffic. <laughs> it's, busy. it's busy down here. That's something that definitely happens. There's people all over the place. Yes, that and that's something to be aware of. Okay, so right now we are in the admissions ward that's not currently set up as an admissions ward, but there's going to be church down here on Sunday, but this is the size of all the wards that you'll be working on. So when there's patients in a typical ward, the beds will all line up along these walls and you'll have pretty much just have an aisle right here. And then this is an omni cell. I've worked with these at home in America, but I know that there's been a few people that have never worked with these before. They're super cool. They have all of your supplies in here, and then also some medications. We keep a lot of medications 
not locked in different cabinets that we use frequently, but ones that we don't use as frequently are in here. And it's all electronic, so you get a fingerprint, and then you type in the specialty or the patient and you pull from there. They're really cool. You can like type in what you're looking for and it's kind of like a game. It'll, the whole thing will light up and then one will light up, then one row and then the exact one. So it's really easy to find stuff. It's really awesome. And then it sends to medical supply every time you take something so they know when they need to refill it. I'm on the ship for three months. The minimum is two months for a first time server and the, there really is no maximum. You can pretty much come and stay as long as you'd like. Are there any special requirements that uh, nurses, on the, nurses on the ship have to have when you apply? You do have to have, I want to say, two years of experience prior to your time of service. So you can apply at about a year and a half but, and as long as you have the two years by the time you'll be on the boat. Tell me about like a normal schedule. So most of the shifts that you'll be working here are eight hour shifts, which is a little bit different than inpatient nursing, at least in the United States, where you're usually doing 12 hour shifts. You'll do a mix of day shifts, evening shifts, and then some night shifts, but you really don't work very many night shifts. You'll work about three to four okay. every four weeks. Um, the reason for that is if you have a night shift, you have less nurses working because the acuity is just lower overnight. We don't have scheduled medications, we don't do as many things overnight as we do back home. The day shifts and the evening shifts are both <laughs> super fun for different reasons. Um, day shift starts at 7 a.m. and goes till 3.30 p.m. Evening shift starts at 2 p.m. and goes till 10, 10.30 p.m. and that's when night shift takes over. So there is that crossover time in between day shift and evening shift and that's because that's time for deck seven, which is when we take our patients that are mobile up to the to deck seven, which is an outdoor area, and get to play with them and give them some outdoor air just let them kind of relax and be carefree for it, uh, like an hour and a half or so. Yeah, there's no windows down here. That's a yes. side note. <laughs> yes, side note. It's pretty dark down here. You can kind of get a little bit lost with where you are in place and time. Yeah. Um, but deck seven time is really fun. What is it like when you compare the daily work you're doing? How does that compare and contrast with the work back home? That is a really good question because I definitely didn't really know what to expect nursing wise here and it is very different. So you'll walk into the ward and even though there's different wards they all have pretty much the same layout and your rooms will have about 10 patients each. So you'll walk in and there'll be five beds on one side facing five beds on the other side and then a little walkway in between. So that alone is very different, having patients not have as much privacy as we're used to at home, which at first may seem like a disadvantage, but I think actually works as a very large advantage for these patients because they really become a community, which is so unusually amazing in comparison to the way that we work at home. Um, there'll be caregivers from one child that are helping a different child if that child's struggling a little bit more that day than the other. These kids can see patients that are a few more days further post-op than they are and kind of look to them as a sign of what's to come and that things are going to get better. Um, so that is a huge obvious difference when you first come in. And then also paper charting, which I think a lot of people of the same nursing generation that I'm in have never done before <laughs> and it can be a little intimidating at first, but definitely you definitely get the hang of it. So each patient will have their chart at the end of their bed. So you'll get handover from the nurses before and then you'll walk over, look at the chart and kind of just write down your meds from that. Um, and that takes a little bit of getting used to, is yeah. the paper charting. Um, and the orders, paper orders, but everything has similar pathways. So once you start getting used to reading the chart, it's really a lot easier than it seems at first. One of my favorite things about evening shift is that on evening shift you get to admit patients that are going to be getting their surgeries the next day. 
So when you admit a patient, they come in and they're all excited and so happy to be here, which is very different than usually people in the hospital back home. Um, and you get to do all of your teaching or what to expect the next day and get them all settled in their bed. And they usually don't sleep very much because they're just super amped up about the next day, which is really exciting. Um, but then when that's one of your patients, you don't really have that many cares to do for them that night. You do their CHG scrub, their education, and just kind of get them prepped for the next day. I feel like I have never felt the type of love that I've felt from patients as instantly as I have here. It's like you walk into the ward and people will greet you with just by hugging you. It's an, an amazing feeling and very overwhelming, really. Um, and it's almost like, so as a nurse, we will have about four patients each, at least on my ward. If you work in the ICU, you might have one patient, you might have two patients. I work on B ward and I have about four patients, but it almost is like, a community in there. It's like I have my own patients whose medications I'm responsible for. I'm responsible for their assessments. However, like you are helping with all the patients in the ward. You get to know everybody. Everybody's helping your patients too. And it's just, there's so much love in the room. It's almost insane. Are there any stories you'd like to share from your time as a nurse here so far? Yes. So since I've been here, we've been doing uh, orthopedics. So that's one thing kind of to answer a different question as, as far as the wards working. You do a certain specialty at a certain time. So right now we've done orthopedics and then the orthopedic surgeons will leave. So we will no longer be doing orthopedic surgeries and we'll be doing different types of surgeries. So with the orthopedics patients, these are the kids that come and they have all different deformities as far as their legs go. Basically, their legs are not straight one way or the other and they get these surgeries to straighten their legs. A huge part of their recovery is them walking afterwards. So I think that one of my favorite things personally is seeing the kids cheer each other on. And I can remember my first day on the ward, there was one girl who had just gotten her cast fiberglass, meaning she could start walking, and she was so scared to start walking, but her neighbor, who was her little friend, they would hit the balloon back and forth to each other, went for a walk, and then she like tapped her mom, tapped her mom, and got up to go for a walk, and the other girl was cheering for her, and the two moms were holding hands, and it just seemed like it was... I'm like not real. It was a wonderful moment. Is there any last uh, advice or tips or just words of encouragement you would want to give to nurses, nurses who are considering coming here to the ship to be a nurse? Yes, I would say do it. <laughs> um, <laughs> as far as being worried about being competent in your nursing care, that's something I know that a lot of people have been worried about because Yes, I'm a pediatric nurse at home, but I don't necessarily do straight orthopedics or plastic surgeries. Everybody here is unbelievably helpful. Like I was saying how my patients are your patients, it's everybody is willing to help, everybody's willing to teach. You just have to be open to learning and there will be people that will be teaching you. Everybody just wants successful stories and wants everybody to walk out of here happy and healthy. So do it. <laughs> One of the best things is that when you're done working, at the end of my shift, I just walk right out the store <laughs> and I'm at my cabin. Traffic's insane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very long commute. It's like a few steps, but it's very close. <laughs>